Hello again, followers of the Two Stroke Saga. Um, it's back. Yes, it's been a year since I was playing with it before, and yes, there have been some changes. Apart from the fact it's dirty and the paint I put on badly has fallen off, you may now notice the cylinder head looks a little bit different. It's now got a 65cc kit on it with matching head, designed for the A35 series Tomos engine. This is the A3. Little bit of fiddling, new gudgeon pin, new bush, nothing that's um, impossible to handle. It's now got a manifold that was actually manufactured for this purpose. The air filter doesn't fit on next to the frame anymore. Some petrol has taken some of the paint off, so I'm going to get it power coated. And the seat is split because I've actually been riding it. The good news, it now gives you white finger in your feet, which I guess is white feet, and also does 40 mile an hour, which I would demonstrate uh, on the speedo had the speedo not decided that 40 mile an hour was uh, a little bit too much for it. The cable snapped. It has a power band now. With the aluminium kitted head, it sounds a little bit like a duck. Scraping pegs around the corner. And look at this, we're accelerating up a hill. I don't believe it. We're still accelerating. I'm going to have to give up on that hill there, because if we get stuck at the lights at the top, it changes gear properly now. That turned out to be a problem with the tension in the chain. Yeah. Scraping pegs again and again. Slightly steeper hill. I'd say we've got 15 mile an hour. I wouldn't have any idea. The brakes are still absolutely terrifying. Come on, power band. Yeah, there it is. I don't know whether the microphone will pick this up, but the reeds are singing. Oh, and my feet are tingling. A little bit of downhill. Sounds like a blender. Oh, we're actually... No, we're going to have to back off. Oh, and use the actual brakes. Wow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's now fast enough to keep up with some traffic. Here comes that power van. There it is. Oh, he's getting away. Full cut. Go faster. Sounds good though. Sort of. If not a little bit monotonous. Indicators uh, appear to have stopped working. Oh, that's fantastic. There's the pegs down on the ground. Something wrong with my indicators. Oh, that sucks. And my favourite activity, overtaking cyclists, I've got a bounce on. This is like being reduced to the lowest level of road user. I can't overtake pedal cycles. 
deforestation in action. And as soon as I can see around this corner, which I still can't, drag it. Oh, here comes a power band. Oh, they got my feet. It's like having feathers in my shoes. Ow, 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 ow. In the pursuit of speed, I will tolerate it. Oh, oh, f***ing hell, fell. The reason I'm coming this way uh, is for cows. No, not for the cows. For a bit of a torture test. Um, people tolerate cyclists going up the hill I'm about to go up, so they're going to have to tolerate me, and I really hope I can physically make it. I'm working on the basis that uh, mid-Sunday morning it shouldn't be too busy, and thus I won't be too much of a public nuisance. Oh dear. Oh dear. Shift down. This hill gets steeper. Just let it shift down. There we go. No, don't try and shift up. No, no, no. Ha, you don't have any choice now. You can't. Yeah, look at that. I mean, like, you probably won't get an idea, but I'll tilt my head back so it's level with the horizon. This hill's pretty steep. Locked on the completely flat. This will do 42 mile an hour now. 42. Try and get my knee down. <laughs> Race bike coming through. Hey, <laughs> Jesus, that's terrifying. Oh, too fast scraping. But if you look at the pegs, I don't know whether the internet can see this. Uh, probably not. If you look at the pegs, they're round. And they've got a big rubber kind of bung on them. And when it hits the floor, it rotates. It spits your foot off like a conveyor belt. Oh, these brakes are still terrible. Move out. A bit of Rossi on, suck it in, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, if you've never ridden a 50cc old-fashioned like 70s or 80s moped, definitely, definitely ride one because the level of pressing around you can achieve on this is far beyond the capability of the brakes. Um, anything you'll experience on a bigger bike. The limit of these little machines is so low down in the stratosphere. I mean, doing, doing 20 round a corner can uh, get your pegs scraping, warm your tyres up, get rid of those chicken strips. But yeah, so with a two-stroke you have to accelerate downhill um, just a little bit because if you freewheel the engine and obviously not very much mixture is getting in there and it's boiling hot and the mixture carries the oil if you freewheel for too long you'll seize it so with terrible brakes and everything you have to accelerate down a hill inspired by a certain other popular YouTube character I decided that uh, the next best thing to do with this would probably be to take it out in the sunshine and, um, and, and off-road it I've been looking for some uh, some tyres to suit, but it's a little taste of that. We're going to go for some unmade road drama. Yeah. I've been on a trials bike, except sh oh, oh, Sorry, guys. You do a skid? Yeah, do a skid. You can do a better skid than that. Let's do a skid, ready? <laughs> oh, gearbox didn't like that. Foot out. Way. 
Whoa, wheel spin. <laughs> 